Hello and welcome to Dauntless. This is a free-to-play monster hunting game. Uh, you might have seen it, I don't know. It's on all platforms. You can get it on PC, PS4, Xbox, Switch, and it's cross-platform. So, uh, yeah, it's a really good game for um, enjoying with your friends, no matter where they are. But today, uh, I'm just going to play some and show you some of it, as I think it's a really interesting game and it's a lot of fun and i'm really enjoying it right now so this is like the the hub of the game and you can see that there are people on ps4 over there and then there's uh, loads of people on ps4 i'm playing on pc there's a person switch in the background you can get your weapons made your fist weapons made your armor made your lanterns made uh i can't remember what he does we're just gonna do the mission that i've got so up in the top right you can see that i've got some quests um there's really, there's two things I need to do left on this quest, and one of them is to kill a shrike, so we're just going to start a private hunt, um, and I'm just going to um, basically go in solo. Might as well do my daily collection, grab these things wherever they may be. Well, not going to get all of them done before we go into this match. You can play with up to four people. Um, it's, a, it's a bundle of fun with four people. There are a selection of six or seven different weapons uh, the sword being the the sort of like original one and then there's an axe hammer spear like scythe things on chains uh, guns and punchy things i'm going to show you the sword today because it's my uh, preferred weapon we're just going to jump straight in you can customize your gear and stuff like that and you get uh, you customize the gear from bits of the monsters that you slay or the behemoths in this game what's my intro Oh yeah, I have that intro. At the beginning of the game, if all four people were playing, you'd have uh, drop-ins there. Um, so this is just a quick tutorial uh, about dodging and that you have iframes uh, without taking any damage. You'll be invincible for a short time. Yay. I actually have uh, some perks on my gear that allow me to extend that time frame of invincibility. So um, should be a little bit easier to dodge through things. Um, if you've played Monster Hunter, you'll know basically a lot about this. Well, not a lot about this, but you'll know the basic premise um, where you can go and gather resources on the maps. Um, and these can be used to craft potions, which are down in my bottom right, which all do different things. And you can kind of, you've just got to find the behemoth first. They're pretty, they're often not that hard to see, but this one is eluding me like anything else. I'm picking these little wisps up because they give me a little speed boost. So where is the Shrike? He's probably, ah, oh, there he is. So the Shrike, if you've played D&D &D or you know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, I always consider him an owl bear. And like, look at him and don't tell me that he's not an owl bear. All right, Shrike, get ready for pain. Let's go. Well, that was badly timed dodge. That's the one I always struggle to actually dodge. I like his little disc throw. Oh god. As far as I'm aware, there's no way of like locking on to them, so... Okay, so when he did his little dash there, I don't know if you call it, but there was like little red lines off the top of his head. Um, that means that it's an interruptible attack. So you can... Um... Ow, he hit me with that? Okay. Oh, man, I am so bad at timing that one because you can't really see him when he's doing that. Um, one thing that's on the map are these little eighth events, and these give you health. Um... But they only give you a certain amount, so you kind of have to be careful. Yeah, you charge. That's fine. I could have knocked him out with a heavy attack. Just timing that dodge is so difficult when he's right above you. It is. It is I always find it really difficult. Um, so... The other thing that every weapon has is a little uh, special 
Um, so I'm just going to activate mine now, which is probably not a great time to be doing it, but um, we'll, you get it pretty quickly after. So I'm just going to go, and then I can dash over and I do more damage. Oh, I dodged out of that one. Yeah, I think. Uh, I also have it so that I, if I take damage whilst I'm in my special, I don't get staggered. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, I find. Just gonna add a shield on. So, the other thing is your little lantern that you get on this, that you can have on the side of you. Um, mine's a little dagger at the moment. Ow. Okay, didn't see that even coming near me, but that's fine. Where's that little leaf a bit? This is not a great battle so far. Uh, this is my first game of the day, so uh, bear with me whilst. I'm just going to add the little special effect of the, um, this, uh, this sword also does extra damage to the, uh, tails of Behemoths, so you can chop tails off, oh, I'm not going to dodge that time. As far as I'm aware, there's no way of cancelling the, um, ow, I do not know when the, uh, attack is for that. Okay, so I broke a bit of armor and I've stunned him because I have an elect, uh, a, like a lightning. Okay, kind of dodged away from him. Um. Okay, so he took my shield with that, which is fine because that's what the shield is there for. Um. I have a few shield abilities uh, that allow me to kind of just put a little shield around me and it takes damage to uh, do anything. Uh, take damage away. Oh great, so I broke a bit of his armor, which is the yellow numbers on him. Um, so I'm chipping away. Oh, okay, he's gonna go enraged, which just means he's he now does a little bit more damage. Um, ow, and he's, okay, he has a bigger hitbox as well, apparently. Let's just do a bit of a heal. Okay, I was going to try and knock him out of it, uh, but I need to time that right, and I didn't. So he's still going to do a little bit of a charging. Basically, if he if he goes enraged, a lot of his stuff gets doubled. So he'll then do a double strike there. Um, he ends up just doing more. Okay, he's actually calming down, which is great. Which means I can go in and attack him. I get a few free hits on him. I don't know if I can hit the tail off of the strike. To be fair. I don't think I've ever done that. So. so I I went straight through that attack. Not a smart idea. Where is he? I don't think I rolled through that. So I'm actually just gonna heal up again. Use one of my heal potions. Um, what I might do is just use an attack speed one as well. Which I think actually isn't an attack. I think it just it speeds up my attacks a little bit. And allows me to um, just run away from that. It's a slow attack. Oh wait. I wanted to see if I could knock him out of that. Which is a risky move. Ow. Okay. I'm not doing very well with the dodging. And I don't quite know why. It's either not picking up my clicks. Oh my god. I just cannot get... I have struggled with that ever since I started playing this game. Just that one attack. Every, basically every other uh, creature's attacks I'm fine with. Okay, I thought I struck him out of that. Okay, so I'll get some good hits on him here. Whilst. Okay, let's take a heal again because I'm. Okay, he's going raged again. This is kind of good. Let me take a speed attack. That. I need to see if I can hit it. I need to start the swing way earlier. Where is he? Oh no, don't put my weapon away. Bring it back. 
Okay, that just took shield off, that's fine. He's just doing some grabbing. So we'll just heal up a little bit. So I think I cut his tail off. I'm not sure. It's a little bit difficult to time that one. I always I don't know why I find that one so hard to time, but I always do. Oh no, don't fly away, you coward. Alright, let's heal up and uh, we'll have to go find him. He's over there, so let's just go see what we can do. This is not a great fight to start the first game off, but he's also... I mean, I'm clicking the button, but it's not happening. So... I don't know what's going on. that attack. I hit him, but it didn't do anything. Okay, broke another bit off of him. This is really good. Dodge that. Dodge that. Take a heal real quick. We've only got one more heal, and the heals are useful. The heal potions are useful because it actually allows you to get back up as well. Where is he? I couldn't see him. I'm just going to take a shield potion as well. It's now that. And I'm sure there's people out there saying I'm fighting the strike completely wrong and you're probably right oh come on that was such a perfect time one I took a help I took a shield potion but I don't think it really did oh it just means I can take it so That one, which is great. Oh, that was not the right way. I'm just try to strike his face as much as I can. Yes. Break his beak off, and then break. I want to break his other wing off. I wasn't out of range for that. Come on. Pretty sure I hit him out of that. I mean, I, d I ducked underneath that with a strike, so that was surprising. Okay. It's a bit more of a pain than... He's, he's more active than any of the other behemoths that I know of right now. Because there are loads in the game. Ow. Come on. I wasn't even looking at him at that second. For that second. Yep, okay, so I can dodge that when he. Can't dodge that one. I'm uh, pretty sure I was nowhere near being hit by him on that one. Um, so let's take this. That's my last heal, so it's probably a bad idea to do that. I don't know if anybody else just saw me like blip a little bit further back. Probably not helping the whole situation. Nope. Alright. So we'll just see it. Come on. We'll just strike him. Just keep hitting him. That's all we gotta do. And hopefully not have some form of lag. The game is always online. So, um... If you get... Yeah. So you can't... Okay, dodge do that one again. Okay, hit him. 
let's just go foot at him now. Where'd he go? Get my rocks going around. These actually do a surprising amount of damage. Okay, that's not good. Dodge that. We'll take a quick drink out of the ground. And I think we're good. Um, take a potion like that. Ow. Ow. Okay. Might need to take another... Come on, roll out of it. Nope. Why, am I not... Why did I not go anywhere there with... What's up with my roll being stuck? Oh, there we go. Finally, he goes down. Oh. Can you not roll out of, uh, out of the ether things? I don't know. I seem to just roll in on the spot for some reason. A B. That's my lowest rank in the whole last week. So that was the strike. Uh, I leveled up in my Slayer rank. So I get some nice goodies that I can attach to weapons and armor that allow like extra things. Every single time I decide to um, I knew you were leap right for frog job. that. Okay. Yep. So I've now done her things. I just need to... Have I crafted a shrike's zeal? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I still get the XP, so that's fine. I'll take that. And I get loads of different orbs and stuff, which can be used to upgrade. This so this is like the... They have like a hunt pass, which just allows you to... As you level up, you get stuff um so i'm now level 15 yeah so i got some nice extra things that you can do uh the elite is you you buy into the elite like most battle passes or anything like that and then you have the free one as well which still gives you uh, a decent amount of stuff so it's not something that you need to get the elite one for it's like a lot of free to play or like mmo or anything like that um where there's just a million quests that you can like pick up and they all do things that you want to do so use hammer to slay a behemoth use an axe to slay so it's just that's just use every single weapon in the game to slay various things that is dauntless very very quick brief overlook at the dauntless um so i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you want me to show you any of the other weapons i can see what i can do about with those thank you very much for watching uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.